Yo, miss me, how long has it been since the last tutorial? Oops, it's time to catch up. But never mind, so today I'm going to show you how to install Shadow Plus for SRB2 on Android. I already know some of you your questions before that. Why? 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 And you will be absolutely right. You can install the patch for the game, connect your phone to your computer, transfer the finished mod and you're done. But what if you don't have access to a PC? Or you don't have it at all? Well, let's find out today. But before that, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and support the video if you like it. It's interesting here. My name is Damakoto. Let's get started. So, the most important question. How to install this patch on Android, spoiler, you don't. Well, technically, maybe, but in practice, it's more complicated than you'd like. Let's find out why and if there are any workarounds. Yes, there are workarounds. We have three ways, not counting one more, and I'll talk about each one. Method 1, the most insane and extremely unsafe option, installing Windows 10 or 11 ARM on your phone. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but it's actually possible. This method is strictly for hardcore geeks. However, there's one big catch, you must have a Snapdragon device, preferably a flagship level Snapdragon 835 or newer, because it won't work with other processors. This method is very complicated, and here's why, you'll need USB adapters, a mouse, an additional hard drive, drivers, and a lot more. Most importantly, your device must be rooted. While my previous tutorial might technically help with this method, it's honestly not worth the trouble. Oh, and yes, even this method still requires a real PC, because installing Windows ARM on a phone without one is simply impossible. I won't be showing how to do this, and here's why, it's extremely risky, and you could easily brick your device. I strongly advise against trying this. But if you're still determined to go through with it, well, I've warned you, do it at your own risk. Method 2, using Termex. This is not as crazy as the first method, but still requires some knowledge. In this case, you can try Termex, which is a terminal emulator for Android. It allows you to run certain Linux commands on your phone. However, it's worth noting that this method isn't as simple as it might seem. For full functionality, you'll likely need root access, as you'll probably have to download additional libraries and utilities, such as Wine for running .exe files, as well as tools for working with batch files. Some commands can be run without root access, but it's limited, and it likely won't work perfectly. Setting up the environment for emulation can be quite a complicated process, and even if you manage to configure everything, there may still be performance issues or other compatibility problems. So, I won't be showing how to do this, as it's a complex process that I wouldn't recommend for beginners. Method 3, using WinLater. This is the simplest and probably the most reliable option. WinLater is an emulator that allows you to run Windows applications and BAT files on Android using Wine and Box86 or Box64. For this method, you will also need a Snapdragon device, as performance on other processors like Exynos or MediaTek may be unstable or the program may not run at all. However, unlike the first two methods, this one actually works. This method does not require root access, but as with any emulator, performance may depend on the power of your device. Since this method is safe, I'll show you how to set it up. First, go to the official WinLater website. The link will take you to the developer's GitHub page, where you can download the APK. Next, after installing the application, download the patch from SRB2 Workshop, link will be in the description, as well as the shadow mod from Inazuma. Move the file to a convenient folder, in my case to the download folder. Then extract the zip archive and unzip it into the same folder. Next, move the mod itself to the folder with the patch. Then you need to create a container. 
You can specify absolutely any characteristics and set any resolution you like. For this example I'll choose 640x480 to better see what I'm doing, but you can adjust the settings to your liking. From the graphics drivers, choose Turnip, Adreno, if you have a Snapdragon power device. If you have a device with a different processor, choose Vortec or VirGL. Once the container is created, launch it. Wait for it to finish loading. Then, go to the D, drive and check that the patch folder is in the correct location. Now, run the bat file and wait for about 3 to 7 minutes. Keep in mind that, unlike the PC version, the mod compilation process is slower on Android. As we can see, the loading has stopped, which means the compilation has finished. Now, go to the iZarc folder, and you'll see that the patch is in a zip file. What should we do next? Exit WinLater, as we no longer need it. Then, go to File Explorer, find the folder with the patch, and rename it from .zip to .pk3. Next, move the ready pk3 file to a convenient folder. I will create an add-ons folder in File Explorer. You can place it wherever you want, but for convenience, I'll do it this way. It's time to launch the game and check if everything worked. Now, you can see all the settings and the folder where I placed the add -on. And as you can see, if the mod runs perfectly, then you did everything correctly. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It was actually not easy to make, as it took a lot of time. Also, I know that some of you are still waiting for the X Sonic tutorial. Don't worry, I hope to finish it soon. The script and materials are almost ready, but honestly, I'm a bit tired of SRV2. Huge thanks for sticking with me and supporting this channel. Thank you all for watching. My name is Dumikoto, or just Domi, along with the TTS that narrated this video, lol. See you all next time.